with, and Dazzle's going to be off babysitting the offlaner. Uh, but I'll still go with Vici. I think they're in way better shape at the moment. Okay. All right. Both have gone for Vici gaining. This one, when was it? Like a month ago? Not too long ago. I mean, that, we really haven't been in the circuit too long. Like, so. like, like a month ago, they won a major. Well, but it might be a super, but the, and that's well, going to be a kill. Not Sutter. No, Trouble Sutter's leading the way. That was actually your spirit feet. going down and already a first blood. Which I think is really, really important. Mm -hmm. Benrier, I mean, this is going to be another Decay go. He puts a two himself. They want this kill, damn it. Ninja Boogie going in. Decay is ready in one second, but oh, Mocking King Primal Spring in. That will indeed be the kill on a Benrier. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and he gets away from that one, too. So back to the top lane. Monkey King pulls. Jingu Mask recharges. Decay's coming out. There's the roll in. Big two man stun from Jabs. They get the one kill on a Dazzle. Paparazzi will be fine, but great timing by Ninja Boogie. And Nana Howard in the middle. Actually behind the net before 300. Ooh, middle lane. Jabs, he's waiting. He's finding the right time. Barrel rolls in. Now level six just yet. Gets the dream foil off. Ori, Decay even on top of that. He wants to turn kill. He's like, I'm taking you with me. Down goes the Storm Spirit. Lan M, not enough damage to actually finish off Nana. Now Lan M's the one in trouble on Slaughter. Gonna slither away with that spray. Dodge the elite three initially. The job oh. goes in and she with the crush. It just doesn't matter. So Moon picks up the kill right there. Old 11 though, running in now, going with the gun. And actually, some Lovato attack. He's in the rabbit for this. He will get one. I don't think he's getting jabs on top of this, but that ravage, I think it's safe to say that was worth it. See, Phase Boost just purchased by Monkey King. He's trying to get to Zerimus if he wants to go. Primal Spring in on Dying also coming in. The nice boulder smash will hit Ben here. He puts up the shallow and Grave Barrel in. It's just a matter of time before he falls in and wears off. The turn kill the old drill on Monkey King as Ori does fly in. Did you mention he was there in the first place? Jabs feeling the pressure now. More mana left on Ori using that zip zap. He's one more auto attack and he gets it. Dump. TP on cooldown. And Medusa doesn't really want to see into these kind of fights, so it's very cocky to actually take that fight. Huck's going in. Waiting rim on top of the green gold of the Luxury Orb. Well, he's coming to Yasha. That's the question. Okay, Yasha. They're going, going to Medusa and... and yeah. No chance. You see what I mean? The, the corrosive haze actually just makes Medusa very squishy. Yeah. Hey, Prime. And even, even late game when Medusa has like 30 armor, they still will cut through her because they have a minus 40. Top lane. That's the final spring in. I don't know if that's the target you want to go for the right side size. Maybe just trying to farm with the back from Raps to get in. Ready to go. He's going to commit to it. Stupendous. He takes the stun from the Dreamquil. Well, Anchor smash in and a couple more auto attacks will finish him off. Assistance from Finry as well. Nana wants the turn kill. Jabs. He's coming in on top of it. The Shallow Grave. Activated a couple more seconds. Here comes Ori though. you got to be careful if you're Manesky and they're not careful enough. Talk in trouble now. And he indeed will end up going down as well. It's just getting worse and worse for them. And now you see her spirit's gonna fall. It's a double kill no, coming out no for the tombstone just way too late. There's just one after the other. He would have gotten hit by the remnant, but the creep took before him. Oh, Flory's not done just yet. He's like, now you can't blink. He's gonna protect oh. him in, and it's going to be enough. I think it'd be it is gonna be incredibly hard to do anything about him. Oh, Nana. Face Good for now, the oh, Ravage is committed. Wow, Young Eleven really wants to make a play. Maybe still a bounty route, I guess. I don't think he got that now. Perhaps overstepping, so maybe that blink, that's why he didn't have it, because it's going to make him go crazy, apparently. Undying trying to turn ultimate for Max the front spring, and they actually will go tight in the Ori to the back line. He's pulling in one, though. That would be Puck. Zip zapping around some more. Undying will fall to it. He's under attack. They're gonna have some damage problems soon. Because this monkey doesn't have the money. MKB game too. I mean, what are we looking at? But meanwhile, oh, that's undying and he got. He pops the tombstone at least. Nice full strike on two. And the drink will hitting a couple on top of this. Actually, Slaughter's getting very low because of maybe Shallow Grave. No, not gonna save him time. Pop Rotsy pops the BKB. Getting out of the Wukong's command. The chase is on though. Ice 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 wants this kill. Right next to his shrine. Gush though coming out from Yoko Lemon trying to save his teammate right there. Kyle like meanwhile from Ori coming on the back lane. No, that was actually at the top lane. Jarrell Copter doesn't have falling as the chase is, is real. And Young Eleven will too go down after all that fighting from earlier. So we'll finally get it. 27 minutes in though. Land M, there's a sentry ward there. So be careful about that. And then just want some smoke, I guess. But meanwhile, the Ravage initiates a lot of people. The front of the ball. There's that gross that Vance Ori on top of him. Gets the four staff teammate. Dresden Stone is going to be fine for the time being. Grim Deal not going to be enough to save on Zion. The shell of Grim on Ori to keep him alive. He got super low right there. From the Monkey King, especially. But he's going to take down in the end. And that is a nine kill streak stopper. Jabs gets credit. His ulti was still on him. 1100 bonus gold. The eight oh, red, oh, just as he died to the no. Earth Spirit. You're right. Dyer's Going into to the uh, Radiant Jungle. Attack. They're going to definitely run into them. It's just a matter of how do they get the jump. Land M. The front lines. They're going to to pull up that gold, man. Pretty yeah. 400 on them. They're going in. There's well on it, too. BKB is going to be activated. Tombstone put down. Wukong's man also in the back line. Don't worry, though. With his own BKB, he's not going to scare too much on that monkey. He's going to take out. 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 He's going to
on both supports dead on the side of Michi Gaming. Muji is running them away. You see Paparazzi trying to make his way out of there. They're getting healed up by something, man. Did he finish the satanic? satanic? I'm not yeah. even sure. Okay, yeah. Going into that fight, so. He will manage to survive. Young 11, they want to go on him. He's still in the Ravage, by the way. Got to be careful about over committing right here. Go to the Brady inside. The Aegis was burning in the back lines. There's a Ravage. The Are they going to commit to the glory? He decides to go in a monkey key. Going to be signed himself, though. So they did burn the Aegis also Get back there. Tanks. And then they will decide to fall back. So <laughs> here we go. Dyer's going into middle to the uh, Radiant Jungle. Attack. They're going to definitely run into them. It's just a matter of how do they get the jump. Land M. They're gonna jump onto the two, so we've got right off the call. That's actually gonna be active. Don't worry, jumps into the BKP. Medusa did a lot with the timing. They pick up on Dying and got his two zone off, though. But Ori, he's just being locked down throughout all this. The split shots are being activated. Ori trying to see a live now. Shallow Crane's gonna be put on Good him cheese. from Fenrir. He gets the cheese. He's ready to call back. You can see Bushi just simply running away, realizing he's just way too damn low. Young 11. Also, both the still about half life. Land M does it. He's got the tree. Gets by the side to fall to the ground, and the gush will snipe him down. And, and I think BG will pounce on Roshan as soon as they're pushing on bot lane because oh. bot lane is pushing in. Land M finds the target. Not going to fully commit. Just saying hello. Down 11. He wants to go in as well. BG the exit of the side. Here we go. Ori is going to jump on the and then one more in the back line. Jab. That one more, he will fall. The blue pass command only to go to Young 11. He's going to just run it out, though, and he'll be fine. It's kind of a reset of a fight here in favor of the Dire Side. Paparazzi takes the damage from Muji, but there's one round of coming out. From the tight end of the stone gate to the front of everyone. Muji survives for the time being. Will it be long enough that you see Ice Side trying to deal with the sports in the back lines himself? But Ori finds it. He goes for him instead. He takes out Monkey King. And Gyrocopter running after Muji now. The homing missile's going to connect. Remember, he has a cold glove, though. He's going to be out now, it looks like. The mana shield goes up. The rock crush. There's another one coming in, and Young 11 with the anchor smash to finish the... Come on, guys. Yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll play the AFK game. We're going to win this battle. Tier there's four, a tier done. 4. And there's your other tier 4 starting to drop now. So, Mineski, you kind of have to do something, or else this game is just naturally over. Yeah, Mineski's like, all right, yeah. here's this something. I'm going to run at them. Homing missiles. Oh, and Tom Murray right after the other. It sounds hilarious. There's the one round coming down from the tight end. Second round. It's going to be happening. The streets are put down. He gets a good stone gate off actually. Can this be a turn of sword? Not us fall though. At the time, down goes the Medusa and the Monkey King. That should all but do it in favor of BG Gaming. They absolutely destroy them in that fight. A fight for nothing. And GG well played is called game number one. We'll go to BG Gaming here, Black. Dire yep. victory. As we said earlier, they definitely had the tools to deal with the Medusa. Medusa was kind of a non factor later on. Yeah. To deal with these sort of heroes. But I think the first. Their five minutes a lot stronger than before. Mineski's? Uh, stronger than last game, relative. Well, yeah, but still, we, with Tidehunter, I don't think they can yeah. five men into that. But it's better than last game. It's games. better, yeah, overall. <laughs> but... He does have plenty to work with top lane. Ice Ice Ice, this could be first blood potential. Blood. The Cosby's going to be rocking, no doubt. And Fenrir actually credit for the kill. Uh, you got to. It really stands out to you. Mm. I, I believe I heard Melini talking about the vengeful spirit on the other side. Yeah, he, he could take over the venge, but it, like, it would make more sense if it was the previous patch. They're going at it, man. Toe to toe. Slaughter's going to end up losing that battle. Ninja Boogie goes down in response, though, so it is a one for one. Although Ori got credit for the kill, where Ninja Boogie got careful. credit himself. Yeah. Dodge. No. Pointed out, that's really expected. Right here, but Ori, it's just a matter of, you know, how does he recover off of this? He's going in, actually. This could be a big kill once again, but no Dream Coil just yet. Of course, still be in level 5. Gets a Crush to assist. Off Ice should be off cooldown very soon. Crush gonna be coming off cooldown, as you mentioned. At bottom lane, Young 11, he should be fine. Fairy Fire is gonna save him initially with a magic wand. Chris up, and another Crush and more auto attacks. That's a kill in the end, so he well tried played. his darnest. Actually, it's just a tight, and tight is really not the hero they're trying to protect here at all. I was thinking about last game. He was really annoying last game, but Ori, meanwhile, Dream Claw on the two different heels. Lanham comes up with a crush and a winning so, But conventional will do just fine against Hedden herself, I guess. So. They're going on him again. He's actually just going to be dead again. No Dream Claw doesn't matter. That's that damage increase from the auto attacks of. Uh, is he going? Vanguard? Dyer's top tower. I mean, that uh, could be a potential. Bottom lane, they really want Tide dead, man. Four heroes bottom like that. He has a raindrop on top of this. You mentioned four different heroes ignite. Never read it. Using it all. There's the Ravage, and here comes the Fort Ori coming in with the, Illus or the Illusory or the Dream Call on three different heroes himself. Not only is Titan going to live, but the Terra Potential's real crush on top of Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend's definitely melting away. Titan even goes back in, and here comes the way for from Paparazzi. It's an absolute disaster for Mineski in the middle of this fight. They're going to lose three heroes. Maybe a Going back to the hood again. Yep. 
Ravage almost off cooldown. Swap. Waveform, though, pretty good uh, against that. <laughs> yeah. Blocked it. Okay, there he takes over the bench. Well, the hookshot's actually going to miss. Paparazzi coming back in. The actual Morphling 4. And once again, they're coming in to respond. Here we go. It's going to hit a couple. Lucio Orban, he does have a dream quote. Will he cast it? Absolutely. On two here. The Bench will spirit one. The Bench will spirit two. Try to run there's a rabbit once again. And BG Gaming is just absolutely destroying here on the early game. The TP out from Shadow Feed. But Ogre's going to fall clockwork. He walks in with Tidehunter and manages to rabbit four people. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is what I want to see. Okay, well, Tide Hunter, he's, uh... He's... He's... I'm just... I'm, I'm almost like, just like, not saying because I'm just so worried, but I'm like really in. That. Top lane, clockwork. He's pretty deep for this, though, so Lan M is getting low, but I saw Zyze, he's also getting low. That's gonna be a one for one trade. Right? And course. everything you do is just perfect. Oh, that's a dead ogre. Crush. Okay, well, it's definitely dead ogre. It's just a matter of can Mushi do anything? Mushi could die, I guess. That's part of what's happening. Steals uh, the mental grid himself, uses the magic missile, comes back into the Morphling, and switching into that strength. So it'll be fine. But Ori's like, no, you're not out of here just yet. And of course, the kids still on the auto attack, stealing plenty. And eventually, it was a long kill. They're gonna get the top tower pretty much for free. Like, Mineski might want to fight it, but if they do, they will die. <laughs> Sada's gonna force the fight right here. Fuck. Follows it out the Ice Blast, takes out Connell, takes out Shadow Feed. Ice, 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 at least trying to get the turn on the land, and we'll set it up for me. Somebody just got a Shadow Blade delivered. Right, I hope it wasn't on SF. It wasn't, it might. Well, hold up, Dr. Jungle up. He's gonna trap for the cog. He's like, all right, you wanna fight? Let's make it by Vengeance. He's got the way from the side as well. The cog's gonna be wearing off, and Clockwork definitely dead. Vengeful Spirit. But the magic missile's out of strength form, though, for Paparazzi. He's gonna be more than taking up double kill as a result of that. You see Shadow Feed, he's trying to live. That ain't gonna work. He eventually explodes into thin air. Paparazzi, the attack to strike. Ninja Boogie, helping to finish him up as well. Guess what? Same theme as always. BG Gaming, nobody dies. And they're gonna completely wipe out Mineski most likely. One more hit. Oh, one more hit. He's going. You know he's going. He's reaching the Oh, Slaughter's got it. Don't worry. Sure, he has the option now. That's the good thing. Ori? Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's fine. Yeah. It's just a matter of what he's he does actually, with it. Uh... More things to ping in. He wants to shotgun him. Ice 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 is trying, man. There's the shotgun and there's the dead ogre. And they walk. Just kind of find out the answer right there. It's just so difficult. Better going to be swapped. Just Ice Blast immediately in the face. He may have died right here, but yeah, they're going to go for a turn kill. And there's that crush hitting. And nice job with the Blinding Light pushback initially. Illuminate on through. Keep it mental for the last time. He's actually going to turn land in as well. Or mid two tower. Right, you know, when you're that far behind, you have to take all the trades you can. Mm -hmm. They absolutely cannot see by them. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. What are you doing? He was not expecting that first damage. He comes down. He has a lot of return of the death, but it's just not going to be enough. In fact, Bob Rossi, remember, he still has the Aegis, even worse case. So he was not expecting that first, though, man. Looks like my dream was accomplished. <laughs> What's that? That Shadow Fiend exposed the Morphling. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, bottom lane being pushed. Yeah. By the way, I said wasn't just a feed. He had to show this. <laughs> Alright, Jeff is that. I mean, we got great observers here, but nobody's gonna catch that. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Yeah, I wanted to know that it wasn't just a random feed by Ice. He had to make it look like very unobvious that he can actually get the pick off top. Because yeah. if everyone shows, they don't show the lane, they will never oh, show the death. Oh no, Shadow Fiend Requiem Channel and Tempi Pop to be after. He's trying to do anything so Jesper right here. It's a triple kill for Paparazzi. Meanwhile, though, GG's are called. A game two in the series will go to BG Gaming. I mean, overall, pretty, pretty dominating performance. Game one, a little bit of life from an SMB game two, really not so much. Well, we spoke about the Mineski draft being very one-dimensional. Yeah. They lose the early game, they lose the game. That's pretty much what happened. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire. Top lane, clockwork. He's pretty deep for this, though. So Lan M is getting low, but I saw Zion is also getting low. That's going to be a one for one trade. Yeah, right? And everything you do is just perfect. Oh, that's a dead ogre. Crush. He's gonna be four man. Oh, maybe not get moves. Okay, well, it's definitely dead ogre. It's just a matter of can Mushi do anything. Mushi could die, I guess. That's part of what's happening. Steals uh, the mental grid himself, uses the magic missile, comes back into the Morphling, and switching into that strength. So it'll be fine. But Ori's like, no, you're not out of here just yet. And of course, the kids are still off the auto attack, stealing plenty. And eventually, it was a long kill. They're gonna get the top tower pretty much for free. Like, Mineski might want to fight it, but if they do, they will die. Sada's gonna force the fight right here. Puck follows it out. The Ice Blast takes out Connell, takes out Shadow Feed. Ice, 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 at least trying to get the turn on the land, and we'll set it up. Somebody just got a Shadow Blade delivered. I hope it wasn't on SF. It wasn't. It might. Well, hold up, Dr. Jungle. He's 
going to try for the cog. like, all right, you want to fight? Let's make it by vengeance. He's got the way from, from the side as well. The cog going to be wearing off, and Clockwork definitely dead. Vengeful Spirit, but the magic missile's out of strength for him, though, for Paparazzi. He's going to be more than taking up double kill as a result of that. You see Shadow Feet, he's trying to live. That ain't going to work. He eventually explodes in the thin air. Paparazzi, the attempt to strike on Ninja Boogie, helping to finish him off as well. Guess what? Same theme as always. Beachy Caving, nobody dies. And they're going to completely wipe out Mineski, most likely. One more hit. Oh, one more hit. He's going. You know he's going. He's reaching the Oh, Slaughter's got it. Don't worry. Sure, he has the option now. That's the good thing. Ori? Yeah, he's hitting. Yeah, he's fine. Like it's just a matter of what he's he does with it. Uh... More things to ping in. He wants to shotgun him. Ice, Ice, Ice is trying, man. There's the shotgun and there's the dead ogre. And they walk to kind of find out the answer right there. It's just so difficult. Better going to be swapped because Ice Blast immediately to face. He could have died right here, but yeah, they're going to go for a turn kill. And there's that crush hitting. And nice job with the blinding light pushback initially. Illuminate on through. Keep it mental for the last time. He actually got the turn land in as well. Or mid two tower. But you know, when you're that far behind, you have to take all the trades you can. Mm -hmm. They absolutely cannot team fight them. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. What were you doing? He was not expecting that first jam. She kills down. He has a lot of return of the death, but it's just not gonna be enough. In fact, Bob Rossi, remember, he still has the Aegis, even worse case, so he was not expecting that first though, man. Looks like my dream was accomplished. <laughs> What's that? That Shadow Feet exposed the more flames. Yeah. Meanwhile, bottom lane being pushed. Yeah. By the way, I said was just a feed. He had to show us. <laughs> All right, Jeff is that. I mean, we got great observers here, but nobody's gonna catch that. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Yeah, I wanted to know that it was just a random peek by Ice. He had to make it look like very unobvious that he can actually get the pick up top. Because yeah. if everyone shows, they don't show the lane, they will never show oh, the death. Oh no, down. Shadow Fiend's right. Requiem right. Channel attempt. He's probably gonna be after. He's trying to do anything uh, so Jesper right here. It's a triple kill for Paparazzi. Meanwhile, though, GG's are called. Hey, game two of the series. We're gonna beat you gaming. I mean, overall, no, pretty, pretty dominating performance. Game one, a little bit of life. Just to cut out Jazz, get to take out. Now, this is the inside of the Stone Gate. Pop the top, both supports dead on the side of Beachy Gaming. Lucy is running them away. You see Paparazzi trying to make his way out of there. They're getting healed up by something, man. Did he finish the Satanic? Satanic? I'm not yeah. even sure. Okay, yeah. Going into that fight, so he will manage to survive. Young Eleven, they want to go on him. He's still at the Ravage, by the way. Got to be careful about over committing right here. Don't get the Brady inside. The Aegis was burning in the back line. There's a Ravage. Are they going to commit to the glory? He decides to go into the Monkey Peak. Going to be signed up, though. So they did burn the Aegis also back there. And then they will decide to fall back, so. Here we go. Going into the uh, Radiant Jungle. They're going to definitely run into them. It's just a matter of how do they get the jump. Land him. They're gonna jump onto the two sub. Who comes right off the call? They're actually gonna be active. Ori jumps in with the BKP. Two did a lot with the timing. They pick up on dying. He got his two zone off though. But Ori, he's just being locked out throughout all this. The split shots are being activated. Ori trying to stay alive now. Shallow Grave's gonna be put on him from Fenrir. He gets the cheese. He's ready to go back in. You see Bushi just simply running away, realizing he's just way too damn low. Young 11. Also, both the end still about half life. Land M does it. Scott eats the tree, gets Ice on Ice to fall to the ground, and the gush will snipe him down. And, and I think BG will pounce on Roshan as soon as they're pushing on bot lane because nope. bot lane is pushing in. Land M finds the target. Not gonna fully commit. Just saying hello. Round 11. He wants to go in as well. Big DDX for the right side. Here we go. Ori is gonna jump on the and then one more in the back line. Jab. That one more, he will fall. The Wukong's man only doing damage young 11. He's gonna just run it out though. And he'll be fine. It's kind of a reset of a fight here in favor of the Dire Side. Paparazzi takes the damage from Mushi, but there's one round of coming out. From the tight end of the stone gate to the front of everyone. Mushi survives for the time being. Will it be long enough that you see Ice Side trying to deal with the sports in the back lines himself? But Ori finds it. He goes for him instead. He takes out Monkey King and Gyrocopter running after Mushi now. The homing missile's gonna connect. Remember, he has his whole club, though. He's gonna be on now, it looks like. The mana shield goes up. The rock front. There's another one coming in, and Young 11 with the anchor smash to finish the... Come on, guys. Yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll play the AFK game. We're gonna win this battle. Yeah, there's a tier 4. And there's your other tier 4 starting to drop now. So, Mineski, you kind of have to do something, or else this game is just naturally over. Yeah, Mineski's like, all right, yeah. here's this something. I'm gonna run at them. Homing missiles. <laughs> and one right after the other. It sounds hilarious. There's one round that comes out from the tight end. Second round, it's gonna be happening. The streets are put down. He gets a good stone gate off actually. Can this be a turn of course? Not us fall though. As the dying down goes the Medusa and the monkey king. That should all but do it in favor of BG Gaming. They absolutely destroy them in that fight. A five for nothing. And GG well played is called game number one. We'll go to BG Gaming here, Black. Dire yep. victory. As we said earlier, they definitely had the tools to deal with the Medusa. Medusa was kind of a non-factor later on. Yeah.
deal with these sort of heroes. But I think they're, five. they're five minutes a lot stronger than before. The next case? Uh, For the time being, will it be long enough that you see Isis trying to deal with the sports in the back lines himself? But no. Ori finds him, he goes for him instead. He takes out Mushi King and Gyrocopter running after Mushi now. The homing missile is going to connect. Remember, he has both of those. He's going to be on now, it looks like. The mana shield goes up. The rock crush defense. Another one coming in. And Young 11 with the anchor smash to finish the. Come on, guys. Yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll play the AFK game. We're going to win this battle. Yeah, there's a tier 4. Randian's and there's your other tier four starting to drop now, so Mineski, you kind of have to do something, or else this game is just absolutely over. Yeah, they're just like, all right, yeah. here's this something. I'm going to run at them. Homing missiles. Oh, and two far right after the other. Dinosaur. It sounds hilarious. There's the one driver who comes out from the tight end. Second driver is going to be out there. The trip is put down. But Mushi just can't simply play his hero. He's going to force that away. He gets a good stone gate off, actually. Can this be a turn of sword? Not a small note. That's the time. Down goes the Medusa and the Monkey King. That should all but do it in favor of BG Gaming. And they absolutely destroy them in that fight. A fight for nothing. And GG well played is called game number one. We'll go to Beachy Game in here, Black. Dire yep. victory. As we said earlier, they definitely had the tools to deal with the Medusa. Medusa was kind of a non factor later on. Yeah. To deal with these sort of heroes. But I Sending think they're, no five, they're five minutes a lot stronger than before. The next case? Uh, stronger than last game, relative. Well, yeah, but still, we. With the Tide Hunter, I don't think they can yeah. five man into that. But it's better than last game. It's games. better, yeah, overall. But <laughs> Lazar does have plenty to work with. Yeah. Top lane, Ice Ice Ice. This could be first, first blood blood. potential. The company's going to be rocking, no doubt. And Fenrir actually credit for the kill. Uh, you got to. It really stands out to you. I, I believe I heard Melini talking about the vengeful spirit on the other side. Yeah, he, he could take over the venge. But it's like. It would make more sense if it was the previous patch. They're going at it, man. Toe to toe. Slaughter's going to end up losing that battle. Ninja Boogie goes down in response, though, so it is a one for one. Although Ori got credit for the kill, where Ninja Boogie got credit himself. Dodge. No, pointing down, that's really expected. Right here, but Ori, it's just a matter of, you know, how does he recover off of this? He's going in, actually. This could be a big kill once again, but no drink coil just yet. Of course, still being level five. Gets a crush to assist. Off should be off cooldown very soon. Crush going to be coming off cooldown, as you mentioned. At bottom lane, young yeah. he should be fine. Fairy Fire is going to save him initially with a magic wand. Press up and Another crush and more auto attack. That's a kill in the end. So he well tried his darnest. Actually, it's just a tide, and tide is really not here. They're trying to protect here at all. I was thinking about last game. He was really annoying last game, but Ori, meanwhile, he's being called two different heals. Land M comes up with a crush and a weaning so. But conventional will do just fine against Hedden herself, I guess. So. They're going on him again. He's actually just going to be dead again. No tree quill doesn't matter. That's that damage increase from the auto attacks of uh, Eli. Is he going Vanguard? Dyer's top tower. <laughs> I mean, that's, that could be a potential. Bottom lane, they really want Ty dead, man. Four heroes bottom like that. He has a ring. Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend's definitely melting away. Tenor Raven goes back in. Oh. And here comes the way for from Papa Razi. It's an absolute disaster. For Mineski in the middle of this fight. They're going to lose three heroes. Maybe. Uh, going back to the hood again. Yep. Ravage almost off cooldown. Swap. Oh. Waveform though, pretty good uh, against <laughs> that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. the block. Okay, there he takes over the bench. Well, the hook shot's actually gonna miss. Paparazzi coming back in. The actual morphling form. And once again, they're coming in to respond. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna hit done. a couple. Oh. Lucio or Orban, he does have a dream quote. Will he cast it? Absolutely. On two here. Eventual spirit one. Eventual spirit two. Trying to run there's a rabbit once again. And BG Gaming is just absolutely destroying here on the early game. The TP out from Shadow Feed. But Ogre's gonna fall clockwork. He walks in with Tight Hunter and manages to ravage four people. Yeah. Oh, but this is what I wanna see. Okay, well Tight Hunter, he's uh He's he's I'm just I'm I'm almost like just like not saying because I'm just so worried, but I'm like really angry at that. Top lane, clockwork. He's pretty deep for this though, so Lan M is getting low, but I size he's also getting low. Gotta be a one for one trade. And everything you do is just perfect. Oh, that's a dead ogre. Crush. Oh, maybe not get moves. Okay, well it's definitely dead ogre, it's just a matter of can Mushi get anything. Mushi could die, I guess. That's part of what's happening. Steals uh, the Vengeful Grid himself, uses the magic missile, comes back into the Morphling. 
And switching into that strength, so it'll be fine. But Ori's like, no, you're not out of here just yet. Of course, the kids are still up the auto attack, still plenty. And eventually, it was a long kill. They're gonna get the top tower pretty much for free. Like, Mineski might want to fight it, but if they do, they will die. Masato's gonna force the fight right here. Puck follows it out. The ice blast takes out Connell, takes out Jadafi. Ice, ice, ice. At least trying to get the turn on the land, and we'll set it up. Somebody just got a shadow blade delivered. I hope it wasn't on SF. It wasn't. It might. Well, hold up, Doctor Jungle. He's gonna trap for the cog. Like, all right, you want to fight? Let's make it fight. He's coming away from the side as well. The cog to be wearing off, and Clockwork definitely dead. Vengeful Spirit but the magic missile out of strength form, though, for Paparazzi. It's going to be more than taking up double kill as a result of that. You see Shadow BD trying to live. That ain't going to work. He eventually explodes in the thin air. Paparazzi, the attack strike on Ninja Boogie, helping to finish him off as well. Guess what? Same theme as always. Beachy Gaming, nobody dies. And they're going to completely wipe out Mineski, most likely. One more hit. Oh, one more hit. He's going. You know he's going. He's reaching the oh, has got it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Sure, he has the option now. That's the good thing. Ori? Yeah, he's, 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 he's fine. Like it's just a matter of what he's he does actually, with it. Uh, more things to ping in. He wants to shotgun him. Ice, ice, ice. He's trying, man. There's the shotgun and there's the dead ogre. And they walk. Just kind of find out the answer right there. It's so difficult. Better going to be swapped. Just ice blast immediately in the face. He may have died right here, but yeah, they're going to go for a turn kill. As there's that crush hitting. And nice job with the blinding light push back initially. Illuminate on through. Keep it mental for the last time. He actually got the turn land in as well. Or mid to two power. But, you know, when you're that far behind, you have to.